Okay, what's wrong with the 89? After doing a little bit of uh, research and troubleshooting on this truck, I have determined it does have a transmission still. The transfer case appears to still work. Um, but I got no rear end, and I know the front passenger side drive shaft's busted. Let's fire it up, and I'll show you what's going on. We are in four low, I believe. As you can see, drive shaft is spinning, but got nothing on the tires. And no, the brakes are not seized. So, the rear end's gone. The rear end is shot, pretty much. We got no power getting to the uh, rear end. So, that's one thing that's going on with it. Also, listen, if you listen for a second. Hear that? That sound it makes when you go into park. Also, you can hear it plinking, plinking, clattering. So, I don't know if there's something broken, or could it even be the uh, front broken drive shaft. But we're in... Neutral right now. Go four wheel drive. Dry shaft is spinning slowly. Nothing right here. There are non lockable hubs. Look at the other side. This is the broken drive shaft side. Oh, there we go, it actually is spinning on this side. So the transfer case is working and the transmission appears to be working. So if that wheel on the other side hadn't broke, this thing would technically be able to drive. So, so the, the rear end's gone. But the transmission fluid smells burned. Also when you go up in the park, you can hear that. Hear the sounds it's making. So, let's shift it back out. So the four-wheel drive is still working technically, but for all the other issues, it's just not worth it to fix. So it runs, but will not drive. And the guy that helped me pull it out even said this, the transmission fluid smells burned. So most likely they were rubbing the snot out of it when they tried to steal it and or steal tires. I think what they tried to do is they tried to get it out of the mud hole and they're doing it at night. We know that. And they couldn't get it out of the mud hole and they, they blew the, the they blew out the rear end. So the, and they burned up the transmission. So the tranny is most likely shot but it's still somewhat there the rear end is definitely gone it would need a front passenger side axle which really is not that not that expensive to fix but with all the other issues it's just not worth it to fix so unfortunately um, I know someone who kind of needs a vehicle it'd be nice to try and fix this up for her but I don't think she'd want to uh, put back into it what it would need to fix and be road legal. Obviously, windshield, you'd need to put a new, uh, probably new transmission. Hard to say. It's, it's, it's hard to say with the transmission. Uh, the guy I, the guy that came out here to help us pull out of the mud said the fluid smells burned. So, so at least the transmission, rear end, transfer case is questionable. Uh, the engine runs good, we all know that. Uh, I got all the stuff in here to put the dash back together. 
Uh, need a hood for safety and for cosmetics. And you need, actually need an entire front clip. So it's not worth it for me to fix it uh, in its current state. I'm tempted to try the emergency brake, but I don't really want to get it stuck on. But um, that's where it's at right now. So yes, it's fixable, but it's probably not worth it to fix it. So I'm debating on posting on Kijiji as it sits. The tires don't go with it either. The tires are are not going with the truck either, and the passenger side one's flat. So I don't know. Um, and there's definitely something going on with the. Well, it's got brake pressure now, but there's something going on with the brakes. It's you got to pump it twice to get brakes. The the tow guy said his uh truck you got to do the same on it. So really, it, it's hard to say. Um, but to some point, it might be worth it to fix, but to me, unfortunately, it's not worth it to fix. Uh, rear end, who knows how much the rear end's going to cost. Uh, who knows what's broken in the rear end, if the rear end even could be fixable. I don't know. Um, need the front drive, need the drive shaft at the front, which shouldn't be too much, but I get one of the auto wreckers. And, but who knows what else could be, could be broken in here. You, you just don't know. So that's... That's where it's sitting right now. That's what's going on. That's what I have determined. The tranny seems to be okay. Also, under load, who knows what the transmission is going to do. It's just obviously idling right now. Um, also, with the noise that it's making. That sound right there, you can hear it when you go to the park. It was a lot worse before. So you can feel it does have gearing. That noise right there. So even if say we shift to neutral, let it idle right down. Go reverse. Still does it. But you can hear it. You can hear it kick down when you go into gear. Neutral. There's not as much of a kick down going into for, uh, forward though. So reverse is definitely there, but it's the forward gear. definitely is it's the forward gears that are not there and when it kicks down to go into forward it's just not there so and with all the other issues it's just not worth it it's not worth it to fix so that's where she sits right now so I'll talk to me later please keep a redneck like always and uh please subscribe and comment